Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this series, we are talking about our Google Maps add-on and its functionalities. Today's video is all about showing all the events available in a single map at a page using a single shortcode. So the shortcode is available at our knowledge base that you can access via our official website. That's wp-eventmanager.com. From here, you can scroll down to the bottom and click on knowledge base. In here, we have a ton of great articles about all the other add-ons or customizations. Feel free to check them out as well. So we need to go inside add-ons and click on show articles. Here we will find a link to Google Maps. In here, we're gonna click on all-in-one map in the sidebar. And if we scroll down a little bit, we will see the short code for the all-in-one maps for our WordPress website. So let's copy the shortcode since we are here. Next, we need to create a new page to paste that shortcode in, or you can use an existing page of yours. That's totally up to you. I'm creating a new page for this demonstration. So in here, I'll switch to code editor instead of this block editor or visual editor as it's very convenient for editing shortcodes and stuff. So let's paste this shortcode. I'll explain what it parameters does in a moment. Let me publish this page as of now. So I have named my page as events Google map and now I'm gonna publish this page. So next open this page in a new tab. As we see, we have a teeny tiny map over here. I'll shortly explain why. In here, we have our height and width parameter as you see. So it's set to 100 pixel by 100 pixel. So that's a square and a really small square by default. But fear not, you can always modify these values to set your desired height and width for the maps in this page over here. So let me go ahead and do that as it really doesn't look appealing. So let's set height to 500 pixel and width to 100%. So let's update this page and see how it reflects. So as expected, we have our Google map over here. As you can see, it's been scaled to 100% width and 500 pixel height. Next, we have categories and event types, right? So these are the event category or event types we have in our WordPress website. Let's open WP admin in a new tab so I can show you what I'm talking about. In the event manager section, if we go to event categories, we will see we have a lot of categories over here and in the event type section we have the same as well so in here you see we have comma separated slugs what that means we can copy this slug over here for the respected category or type we can take that and we can paste it over here or even type it so this map will only show the events with this defined category or types, right? We can even include multiple values or multiple categories and types over here. How? Separated by comma, right? So we can stack other as well over here. So we can repeat this process for even types as well. Then we have featured. We have two possible value for this feature parameter over here. First is true, otherwise is false. So when you're adding an event, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's add new event page in a new tab. So if we scroll down, you see we have a featured listing checkbox over here. So when we are adding an event, if we check this on, so that means the featured value is true for that event. Or if we check this off and publish the event, that means the featured value is false for that event, right? So this map will take true or false for this feature parameter and will show events according to that value. Then we have our canceled. So same thing over here. You see our canceled listing over here. If we check this on, that means the cancel parameter for that event is true. Or if we leave this off, then that means the cancel parameter is false. Same principle as featured parameter over here. Then we have our location. So that's even location over here. As you see, we can type a location name. Our Google Maps will filter out events regarding to that location. Then we have our keywords. So that's search keywords. If we type in some keywords over here, our Google Maps will show related events 
regarding to that keyword on the page over here so feel free to tweak these parameters over here as per your need you can even eliminate them to not include this parameter in this google map over here so if we update this page and then reload this page so now we are viewing all the events available in this website on this google map right we will see as of now we have only one event so that's set to location as eden gardens at kolkata so in this map we see the single map marker on this map that's hovering over the eden garden stadium at kolkata that's what we set for this event over here and it shows up over here as well so if you have like multiple events on your website they will all show up over here on their respective location as a rate marker we can even change this rate marker from our settings as we showed previously so that's pretty much it that's pretty much how you can add an unified map in a page using just a short code to show up all of your events in the website you can even limit them using parameters such as category type featured location or keywords as well I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like on this video, sub to the channel. Being that said, I'm Shara signing off. Thanks for coming along and I'll catch you in the next one.